Zavardi Official. Click here to subscribe. Hi guys, another DIY craft that I'm going to share with you. This method is so easy and ideal for those new to sewing, so keep on watching. You need to prepare two kinds of fabric, one maroon and one black. Measure fabric from your shoulder to ankle. If you want the robe to be shorter than ankle length, then measure to your knees. By the way, I'm using my sun shirt as a pattern. Add additional 5 inches or more from the waist to make it more wider. Then add 1 cm seam allowance and cut. Make two identical robe. Trace sleeve and determine how long you want the sleeves of your robe. If you want the sleeve to overlap your hands, then add a few inches to the measurement. Add 1 cm seam allowance and cut. For the wizard hood, trace your hooded jacket into the fabric and add a little extra 2 inches or more if you want more bigger hood. and so then cut for hood lining cut an identical hood on maroon fabric For sleeve inner lining, cut identical sleeve using the maroon fabric. Pin and cut. Fold on black fabric inside out, then find the exact center of the robe and mark it. Cut all the way up through the front of the robe. Take note, do not cut both robes. This is how it looks like after cutting. From the other side of the robe, attach it facing inside out. Sew the shoulder seams. Take the sleeves and pin to each side with the right sides together. Start pinning from the center.
do the same on the other sleeve. Then sew. Turn the maroon lining sleeve inside out and attach the sleeve into the black sleeve. Make sure the seams are lined up. Pin and sew. Line up the breast edges of the cuff, bottom hems and front opening of the black and maroon sleeves. Fold the sleeves like this, pin and sew. Once the edges are done, flip the lining out and tuck it inside. And do the same on the other sleeve. Sew a straight stitch on both sides of the robe. Use about 1 cm seam allowance. With the right sides together, sew the top of the hood exterior. Pin the hood to the robe neck with the right sides, then sew the robe and set aside. To create that flash of house color inside the robe, we need to prepare and insert the lining to it. Cut about 4 to 5 inches width, and the length depends on how tall the robe is. Pin the lining and sew onto the wizard robe. Turn the lining to the inside and repeat on the other side. Pin 
and sew the side of the inner hood with the right sides together, attach the inner hood pin and sew Clip inner hood to hide the hem. Pin and sew. Turn the hem under an half inch and sew it along the edge. To complete the wizard robe, add Harry Potter necktie. I have separate video tutorials, please see on description below. Oh no, I had to make a fake scar to make it real when wearing a wizard robe. <laughs> And it's done! This costume inspired by Harry Potter is perfect for your little Hogwarts student and for any Halloween costume events. Thank you for watching! Hope you'd enjoy this video. If so, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time! Shout out!